Good morning, Sunrisers. I'm Dr. Jansen, and today I have with me our head technician, Katie, and this here is Sweet Petey. Petey is a 10-year-old pit mix, and Petey came to us um, a couple months ago um, to have some masses removed. He's got a little spot above his eye. He has some spots back in here, and he came in for surgery, and when we have older pets in particular, but honestly, any pet that comes in for anesthesia, we always, always, always recommend preoperative blood work. That involves checking a CBC to make sure that there's no infection, there's no low red blood cell counts or anemia, and also make making sure that their kidneys and their liver are functioning so that they're ready to go and able to handle the anesthesia. So Petey's parents opted to have the pre-op blood work done on him and his pre-op blood work actually showed that he had elevations in his liver enzymes, his ALT and his ALP. And that prompts us to kind of put a hold on anesthesia and make sure that we can get to the root of this cause because otherwise it makes it dangerous for him to go under. So with Petey, we did a full abdominal ultrasound and by some miracle on him, we actually found that Petey had a large tumor in his spleen. Um, had we not done the pre-op blood work, we would have never known that it was there. Um, had we not had the ability to do the ultrasound and investigated it further, we also would have never known it was there. And um, one of our other segments we're getting ready to um, show you guys too is on another patient that came in where one of those splenic tumors had actually ruptured and they were bleeding out into their abdomen. So that can become a dangerous, life-threatening yeah. situation very, very quickly. And thankfully for Sweet Petey, we were able to catch it. So we um, have put a hold right now on his other mass removals. He underwent a splenectomy surgery. So we actually went in, we removed the spleen, um, and we did send it off for biopsy. And they actually found out that it was not cancer on him, but in fact, just essentially a big bruise. Um, so Petey was incredibly lucky. Again, the preoperative blood work is so essential to make sure that your pets, pets are happy and healthy. And in Petey's case, it actually allowed us to save his life. So if you are getting ready to have your pet have any sort of anesthesia, whether it be complicated or something simple like a spay neuter, give us a call, let us run that blood work, and I promise your pets will thank you. WCBI Animal Health with Dr. Emerson was brought to you by Emerson Animal Hospital in West Point.